The main conclusion we draw from this study is that we're entering into a period of rapid technology fuel disruption of labour markets. A lot of jobs are going to be extinguished by technology, but a lot of new jobs are going to get created. There is opportunity and risk here. And a lot of the jobs we do are going to be reshaped by technology as well. The challenge is working out how to differentiate and plug in your skill sets with all this advanced technology that makes you more employable, not less employable in the future. So there are transitions that are coming and we've just got to get on the front foot and start making those transitions. The report covers a lot of other material. The report covers the ageing population and changing demographics, which is going to influence the workforce. The report looks at the rising skill sets and capabilities right across Asia, and the internet connection that plugs us into them is going to bring those skill sets in competition with our own. The report looks at the peer-to-peer -peer economy, the rise of the freelancer uh, and the portfolio worker who may have multiple employers. And the report also looks at the importance of entrepreneurial activity and innovation in tomorrow's labour market, where a lot of people that job is just not there waiting for them, they've got to create it themselves. So the report covers what the future might look like and it's to help policymakers in industry and government make wiser choices about how to build the workforce Australia needs and wants. So the world of work is changing in many ways and we want to make sure that Australia is ready for the changes that those developments are going to bring. It's an exciting time facing these changes. Often people worry that our jobs are all going to be replaced by machines but I see the future as ones where people get to do exciting, fulfilling, creative work while machines do the jobs that they're best able to do. I think the main thing is to make sure that people aren't left behind. So we need to make sure that we are equipping people with the skills that they need for new jobs. And so this is about having a future-focused strategy that the Australian government can support and that our community can be aware of so that we're ready to take advantage of the opportunities of the future. As the peak body for the IT profession in Australia, we have a responsibility to identify the occupations and the skills needed to assure a prosperous future for the country. Ensuring we have enough digitally literate workers in the future is a key challenge. It's not just technical skills, however, we also need to focus on professional skills in entrepreneurship, creativity and innovation, how to bring technology products to market. And we need to focus on developing our local IT ecosystem and invest in that particular area. It's very difficult to imagine any new business, product or service that either won't be delivered digitally or use technology to platform and scale very quickly. Now is a time of exciting opportunity for new businesses. The report also clearly identifies priorities for governments, creating a framework which allows Australia to prosper in the future. We were delighted to work with CSIRO on this report as we see the coming digital revolution in Australia as being um, full of challenges and opportunities for the country. As the report shows, megatrends are driving an accelerated and fundamental change in business, government and society. By 2035, in Australia, 73% of jobs will be substantially impacted by automation and artificial intelligence. Over the next 20 years, the job market in Australia is going to become much more dynamic, with a much higher rate of job destruction and job creation required. In fact, our view is that the rate of job destruction is going to be as high as it was during the GFC, but for a much longer and sustained period within Australia. This report will give insight into what individuals, businesses and government need to do to manage through the digital revolution. It will change the way we manage our own careers and the choices that we make for our children. If you look at the challenges and opportunities of the digital enabled world, it's, it, certainly, uh, it certainly needs collaboration and really uh, collaborate in, in, in solving these fundamental challenges that uh, we have identified in the uh, in, in the study. I think it's a foundational piece. Uh, it doesn't give answers to all the challenges. It's a framework to take this subject further and, and, and really uh, start thinking about what are the implications from a policy making perspective. And not only policy making on government, um, but also policy making in terms of what has to be done at university level, but also at industry level. And, and how can we really take this forward and, and help Australia to evolve into a knowledge-based economy?